Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're talking about how we handle the hot temperatures we've been experiencing at this farm. What we do about it, how we handle it. Temperatures we're getting is about 95, 98, you know, and pretty soon we're gonna have 100. So we're talking about how this farm handles it, what we do about it, how we prevent the farm from, or the miners from tripping the breakers, uh, tripping the gear and so on. So if you think that's interesting, hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel, go to cryptollc.org to set up if you want to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, right now is a great time to jump in. Bitcoin is still not at a very high price. It's at 30,000. Um, it was at 20, but right now it's at 30. So the prices are still down. They're not, you know, they're not the same as they were at 20. They're a little bit more expensive, but still, if you want to jump in and set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, right now is the best time to do that. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. So make sure you have one and the other. All right, so again, today we're gonna to be talking about the impact of heat, just ambient temperatures. So outside, it's right now it's not 90, it's about 75 uh, Fahrenheit. But when it gets to like 95, 90, 95, what happens to these miners? Can these miners handle it? Uh, by the way, we're mining on Bitmain miners. These are S19J. 104 terahash and S19 Pro, 110 terahash. I'll show you guys some close-up of these miners. We'll be running these miners for you know a couple of years now. And I'm gonna go over the details on how they handle the heat. So when it's about 90 degrees, what happens is these miners, their fans will spin up to 100 percent Obviously, they're running at 100%. The chip temps are about uh, about 85. So the chips are warm. Chips are getting warm. Maximum they can hold is 95. They'll turn off at 95. Bitmain will protect the chips. They turn off the miner at 95. So you never, uh, you know, you know, we never experienced a burnt board from hot temperatures. That never happened to us. Mining here for years and years and years. The miner all, always works great. Always turns itself off to prevent the chip from frying. And our chips never fry. So that's the first thing we got to mention. Now, in terms of what happens to the miners, so. As they heat up from ambient hot temperatures, at what point does this farm, do the miners at this farm start turning off? So for us, that temperature is about around 100. So at 100, uh, they cannot spin themselves fast enough to get rid of the heat. Now this is for this farm here. All farms are different. So I could have another farm in the same exact area, right, the same exact city, the same exact area, but that farm, the miners can handle, let's say more. They can do maybe 110, ter 110 Fahrenheit before they start turning off. Um, the reason for that is because you have different air flows. Uh, you have different wind patterns, things like that. Like this container here, the exhaust is actually blowing towards this mound of dirt. So that mound of dirt is blowing towards the mound of dirt. And that mound of dirt protects the exhaust area from having air blow onto the exhaust. So basically the miners are not working against the wind. This container over here, this container is more open. There is more wind being blown towards the exhaust than this one. But this container on the right has a more open exhaust. It's our second um, update to our container, which is better set up than this one here. This is our first container at this site. We built out the exhaust and so on. So technically, they both work about around the same. But this is something to keep in mind, that just because your miners can handle the heat at this location doesn't mean they will at another one. Then there's also the fact of uh, how you built it out. You can't have any hot air traveling back into the intake. If you look at the top here, you see we have some foam. Uh, you know, we have our wall here, we have it foamed up, so we don't have any hot air traveling around back. We do have some openings, you can see, between the miners. That's for humidity, so that's okay. But you don't want to have big holes where it's circling around, coming back, getting sucked in, because what happens is during, you know, uh, cold temperatures or like kind of warm temperatures, it's okay. It can take the, some of the exhaust coming back in. But when it gets to like 90, 95, 100, that's when that little bit of hot exhaust coming back in will be enough to have the miner overheat and turn itself off. So you don't want that to happen, obviously. You want to keep making money even when it's um, 
hot outside. You want to keep you want to keep running the miners. Uh, so here's our intake here. It's our filtration system. She's doing a great job catching dust, catching little bugs, things like that. Keeping our miners clean. That filtration box allows more volume of air to travel into the container. Now, for some sections of miners, some places like like let's say um, I'll show you an example like let's say you know let's say over here or maybe up there you know there's a circulation of air inside of this container where it circulates in such a way that for some reason which it would be great to see it if we had like a fog machine and we could run a fog machine here for like a good amount of time so we can see the circulation because it circulates in such a way where some positions of miners um, it is harder for them to get air. You know, let's say it comes in, it kind of goes to row four and three, more, more than five, or maybe the other way around. And so you can't tell when it's cool or when it's warm outside, when it's like 70, 80, there is no difference. But when you get to 95, 100, when you get to close to that, the miners start turning themselves off, you start to notice that some areas uh, are not getting enough air. Even though the miners are right next to each other and they're right across these levers, which have plenty of uh, air coming in, for some reason, a certain position of miner will overheat. And we notice that happening, you know, just randomly at different locations around, around uh, this container. Uh, very, very interesting, but that's something also to keep in mind when you are running these miners at hot temperatures when it's like, like 100. So what do we do about it? So we have lists of miners. They are saved in a file, we keep a list of them. The positions, so let's say 1R10, you know, 3, 15, 17, 18, 20, 21, let's say those miners, right? We keep them in a list. And when it gets hot, what we do is we put them in low power mode. So in low power mode, they're gonna be running uh, from 110 on the S19 Pro, from 110 uh, to 100. And then on the S19J, from 104 to 78, so they drop off dramatically in hash rate, you know, losing 10, 20, 30% of the hash rate. But now these miners are consuming a lot less power. Their efficiency goes up. And, what, and uh, what we care about is we actually care that the chips are cool when it's really, really hot. So they can continue to run. Yeah, they're not running as fast. They're not running at 110 or 104. They're running at like 78, 100. But this way, you don't have to turn the miner off. You don't have to put it to sleep. You just keep running but you run it in low power mode. So that's the easiest, fastest way to uh, just have it update the miner, have, have it updated the miner to that low power mode will then save you, uh, you know, the fact of having to turn it off, your, your hash rate is still going, and so on. And <clears throat> on this container over here, you can see it's different setup. This one, we have miners on the side, since we ran out of space but had more power. We have miners on the side, and our miners on the side are actually always set to low power mode. The reason for that, well, only in the summer. In the winter time, we turn it on to full power mode. But the reason why we have it set to low power mode is because we want to decrease the amount of hot air we're dumping onto our uh, main, main rows. So these are our main rows, and this is the side of miners. See how it's glowing? towards the cool air coming in. As it's blowing towards this cool air, it's mixing and then being sucked in by these guys over here. So by the time it gets here, it's fine. The air is still cool. And how we, how we make that happen is we actually run all of these side miners, see all of those side miners over there, all the way to the back. All of those side miners are run at low power mode. That way, you do not need to ever slow down those, low, those side miners because they're always running in low power mode. They're producing a lot less heat. They're dumping a lot less heat onto the main rows. And that way, when it's 95 outside, this container is fine. This container is not overheating. At 95, it's, it's fine. It's working just fine. But by the way, these two containers, they will not handle like 110. They just won't handle that. Um, good thing that we're located in such an area where uh, we never get 110. It like never happens. Maybe once in like five years, you'll get 110. Usually the hottest we get um, 
in our area is like 101, 102, you know, something like that. But we never get like 110. So our miners are all fine. They run like 99.99999% of the time. They never go down, all that stuff. So that's how we handle heat at our mining facility here. And uh, what we do about it. So as of right now, give you an idea. As of right now, we have about 50 miners that are in low power mode nonstop. So once we got to, you know, getting 85 degrees, like every single day almost, we're at 85, and then a lot of times it goes up to 95, and we're doing that constantly, every single day. We turned down about 50 of, of these miners, you know, they're random, mine. well, not, they're not random, they're actually, we, we, we slowed down the ones that uh, were peaking on the panel, so the panels were getting close to tripping on the main breaker. So on those panels, we slowed down maybe 10, 15 miners, put them in low power mode, so that way we don't peak on our amps. We did the same thing for this container over there. So not only are you looking at heat, you're also looking at not tripping your breakers. As the miners go from running standard, you know, cool temperatures to running hotter temperatures, they all consume more watts. So your efficiency goes down when it gets hotter outside. And the efficiency goes down like you're, you're talking about like an extra 200 watts a miner. That's a lot of, a lot of watts to be consuming per miner. So our load goes up on the amps and to fix that problem, we, we know which, which panels to put the, the miners on low power mode and that's what we do. And that way when it becomes 85, 90, 95, 100, we don't trip anything. Nothing trips, everything's fine. So keep that in mind. That's also uh, what we had to uh, work on at this facility to find out you know, which miners to put them in low power mode and so on. Now, as soon as we get out of summer, you know, around like September, October, when summer's over, we're gonna put all of these miners back into full power mode, so no more low power mode, um, and just run them you know, full blast all the way until next summer. All right, well, that's pretty much what we do in hot temperatures. So if you guys like this video, you know what to do, hit like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking to set up a GP or ASIC mining farm. You can see we have 1.75 megawatt farm, two gears, two transformers, two containers. We can set you guys up a ASIC or GPU mining farm. Go to CryptoLLC.org. We also sell GPUs and ASICs. Great time to still jump in, get used miners. That's what we recommend, get used S19, Miners, either the S19, you know, regular miner, um, S19J Pro or J, any of those are great miners to, to have. Put them in, uh, put them on uh, custom firmware, that's what we do, recommend for our clients. Run them at very, very low power mode, it gives you great efficiency. And since the miners are used, it's a really cheap price. And they're solid miners, so, so don't be scared that they're used. They're really, really good miners. They literally do not break. These miners, S19s, have been running for years. We never have, basically almost never they break. So they're solid miners. You don't need to be scared about them being used. You know, like, oh no, they're used. Oh no, it's, 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 the, it's the worst thing. No, it's not, it's fine. It's a great price. Jump in, grab yourself some used miners, build yourself a farm. You're looking for, you're looking for someone to set that up for you and manage it for you, go to CryptoLLC.org. That's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys like it. Until next time, bye.